Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to prove an important result in trigonometry uh, using the concept of vectors, right? So here we'll uh, prove uh, this formula that is the cosine of the sum of the two angles A and B that is cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus uh, sin A sin B. So here we'll prove uh, this result using vectors. So let us start. Now uh, let us take the coordinate axis, uh, say x axis and y axis, right? So this is the x axis and this is the y axis, right? Okay. Now here uh, let us take uh, the vector as this vector say uh, this point is P and let us take the vector OP is equal to vector R1 right so this is the vector R1 right and let us take another vector say OQ and this is the vector OQ and vector OQ is equal to vector R2, right? So this is vector R2. And here uh, the uh, along x-axis, let us take the unit vector as I cap and the unit vector along y-axis is J cap, right? And uh, let us take uh, the inclination of this vector OP with the positive direction of x-axis as A and this vector OQ is inclined with the positive direction of x-axis with an angle say B, right? So here uh, this angle A is angle uh, say XOP and angle B is angle X O Q. Now let us take the coordinates of this point P which is the tip of the vector R1 as A1 comma B1 right and let us take the coordinates of point Q as A2 comma B2 right. So here uh, we have the coordinates of point P as A1, B1 and the coordinates of point Q are A2, B2, right? Now let us draw a perpendicular from point P to x-axis and let us draw a perpendicular from Q to x-axis and suppose this point is say, uh, say L and this point is say, uh, let us say it as M, right? Now let us express the vector uh, OP in terms of A1 and B1, right? So we can write the vector uh, OP as A1 I cap plus B1 J cap, right? because the coordinates of point P are A1 and B1 and similarly uh, the vector OQ can be written as A2 I cap plus uh, B2 J cap, right? So this is vector R1 and this is vector R2, right? Okay, now uh, if we take the triangle uh, OLP then we see that uh, OL is A1 and PL is B1, right? And we can write uh, A1 as uh, cos of A is equal to uh, OL divided by OP that is uh, A1 over R1. So A1 is equal to R1 cos A, right? 
similarly if we take sine a then in this triangle sine a is pl over op and pl is b1 over r1 and b1 is equal to uh, r1 sine a right so here uh, r1 represents the magnitude of vector r1 right similarly r r2 is uh, the magnitude of vector r2 right so now here we have a1 and here we have b1 right okay now similarly uh, let us take the triangle uh, o m q right so here we have 90 degree here we have also 90 degree so now uh, here uh, o m is a2 and m q is uh, b2 right and similarly we can define cos of b as uh, om over oq and om is a2 oq is r2 and a2 is equal to r2 cos b right similarly sin b is equal to uh, mq over oq right because mq is the perpendicular and sin b is perpendicular over hypotenuse so mq is b2 and oq is r2 so b2 is equal to r2 sin b right so here we have obtained the value of a2 and b2 right and here uh, once again uh, uh, we can uh, say that r1 is the magnitude of vector r1 which can also be written as uh, the magnitude of uh, vector op and here we can write uh, the magnitude of r2 as magnitude of vector oq right so once we have obtained the value of a1 b1 a2 b2 uh, we can substitute these values uh, here to express r1 vector and r2 vector now r1 uh, vector can be written as uh, a1 i cap and a1 is r1 cos a right so here we have r1 cos a i cap plus uh, here we have uh, for b1 we have uh, r1 uh, sin a and here we have j cap similarly here we have vector r2 and for a2 we can write uh, r2 cos b and uh, i cap plus and here we have uh, b2 for b2 we can write r2 sin b but here uh, we have to uh, see that uh, the uh, coordinate this uh, a2 comma b2 lies in the fourth quadrant right and uh, this b2 uh, should be negative and for this uh, we can write uh, here uh, we can write r2 sin b but uh, here we'll write minus j cap because the direction of uh, the negative y axis is minus j cap right so either we can write uh, here minus b2 or we can write uh, minus j cap so r2 now it can be written as r2 sine uh, here we'll have cos b r2 cos b i cap and minus this minus uh, will go over here and here we have r2 sine b and j cap right so we have now expressed r1 uh, vector and r2 vector in terms of uh, the uh, magnitude of r1 r2 and uh, sin a uh, cos a and sin b cos b okay so now 
to obtain this result uh, let us take the uh, scalar product of uh, this vector r1 and r2 so let us take r1 uh, vector dot r2 vector right so here uh, we have uh, r1 vector dot r2 vector and uh, we can substitute the values so here we have uh, r1 cos a i cap and here we have r1 sin a uh, j cap so this is the vector r1 and here we have the vector r2 that is r2 cos b uh, i cap minus uh, r2 sin b and j cap right okay now here i will uh, make use of the definition of the scalar product of uh, two vectors right and uh, if we have two vectors say uh, vector a and vector b then the uh, dot product of uh, two vectors a and vector b is uh, suppose the vector a is expressed as uh, a1i cap plus a2 j cap and vector b is uh, represented as b1 i cap plus b2 j cap then we can write uh, a1 b1 plus a2 b2 right then the uh, coefficient of uh, i cap are multiplied and then the coefficient of uh, j cap are multiplied and both are added right so here we have a1 b1 plus a2 b2 or in other words we can say that the x components of the two uh, vectors are multiplied then we multiply the y components and then we add both of them now in terms of uh, uh, the uh, cosine of the angle between the two vectors uh, the dot product of two vectors can also be written as uh, vector a dot vector b can also be written as the uh, magnitude of vector a magnitude of vector b and cos theta right where theta is the angle between these two vectors so here uh, we have two results for the scalar product of two vectors and we'll be uh, utilizing uh, both these uh, results uh, to compute or to evaluate uh, this expression right now here we have uh, r1 dot r2 so applying uh, this result to uh, this product uh, we'll have uh, r1 uh, the magnitude of vector r1 the magnitude of vector r2 and cos of theta where theta is the angle between vector r1 and vector r2 right and this is equal to and here we'll apply uh, to the right hand side we'll apply this rule right and to the left hand side we have uh, applied uh, this rule so here we have this is a1 this is a2 this is b1 and this is uh, b2 right along with this negative sign so we have a1 b1 plus a2 b2 so we have r1 cos a multiplied r2 cos b r2 cos b and then we have minus this negative sign will come here and we have uh, r1 uh, sin a multiplied r2 sin b right okay so now uh, the magnitude of vector r1 is represented as simply r1 here we have r2 and theta is the angle between these two vectors right this is op and this is oq and 
this is x-axis so here we have a here we have b so theta is the angle between these two vectors and theta is simply a plus b right so here we'll have cos of a plus b right and this is equal to uh, here we have r1 r2 cos a cos b minus here we'll have r1 r2 sine a sine b and taking r1 r2 common from these two terms we'll have r1 r2 cos a cos b minus here we have sine a sine b and these two get cancelled and we arrived at the result cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we uh, prove this important trigonometric uh, trigonometrical result uh, using uh, the concept of vectors